Hi guys, I'm Connie, one of your SRC group exercise instructors, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a 30 minute Pilates mat workout. So go ahead and pull your mat out, and let's get going for a 30 minute wake up call to your body. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start in a lying down position. Okay, and we're gonna do some bridges to warm up. So feel your head heavy on the mat, and the back of your shoulders heavy on the mat the base of your rib cage heavy on the mat, and your tailbone heavy on the mat. Good, feet are about hip width apart, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let the belly button fall to the floor. And inhale. Exhale, belly button falls to the floor. And one last one, inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly button to the floor. Feel your bottom of the rib cage root to the floor. Good. Inhale. This time we're going to curl up to a bridge. Exhale, belly button down. Tuck the tailbone under. Good. And curl up one vertebrae at a time until you're in a bridge position. Activating your glutes at the very top. Good. Inhale, arms rise up. And exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time from your upper neck. Upper back between the shoulder blades, mid back, low back until you uncurl your tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Roll yourself up. Good. Gently squeezing the inner thighs here. Good. Inhale. Exhale, roll down again, articulating one vertebrae at a time. Pull your belly button towards your spine as you roll down. And inhale, hand comes down. Exhale. Up the tailbone. Roll yourself up. Again, belly button connecting towards the spine. Good. Inhale, arms float up. And exhale, starting from your neck to the upper back, between the shoulder blades. Good. Nice and melty towards the floor. Uncurl your tailbone as your hand comes down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Roll yourself up. Good, inhale, let the arms come up, and exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Does that not feel good or what? <laughs> good, hands coming down, we're gonna go into some chest lifts. So go ahead and put your hands uh, up to the ceiling. Um, if you have neck problems and you wanna cradle your head, you can just put your hands behind your head. And just make sure your head pushes into your hands and your hands push right back, okay? From here, I'm gonna have my hands here though. Okay, we're gonna crunch up. Good, and come back down. Inhale, exhale, belly button falls to the floor. Come up, the base of the rib cage down. And inhale, pause, exhale, come down. Good, inhale. Exhale, belly button, rib cage comes down. You press down on two imaginary balls. Good, and you come down. Good, now let's add a leg to that, okay? So we're gonna come up and march one leg up to 90 degrees. Good, inhale, come down. Exhale, alternating legs. Inhale, come down. Good, and I do want you to imagine two little exercise balls underneath your palms that you're pressing down on. Use that to create tension in your core. Good, and specifically here, you wanna think about your bottom of the ribcage pulling down as your belly button pulls down to the floor. Good, inhale, exhale, come up. And through Pilates, bleed, bleeding, <laughs> breathing is very important for your core work. Okay, you wanna make sure you're getting your transverse abdominis, that's your deep core muscles, to contract as much as you can as you come up. Good, inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, one more set to each side. Inhale, and exhale, good. Drop the legs down. Lift the arms and roll yourself down. Now we're gonna put hands behind the head and we're gonna do both at the same time. We're gonna crunch up and knees come up, okay? Deep breath in, exhale, belly button falls, bottom of the rib cage falls to the floor. Good, glue your feet together, knees together. Exhale, come up. 
inhale, float your legs back down. Okay, so exhale. Inhale, come back down. Again, making sure there's zero movement in your pelvis. Okay, so you shouldn't be arching your back when your legs come back to the floor. Okay, you want to think about really driving your tailbone into the ground. And again, bottom of the rib cage to the ground. Inhale. Exhale up. You should be feeling a bit of heat in your low belly here. Because we're letting those legs float up and float right back down. Exhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, belly button falls. Inhale, exercising control on that lower half of your body. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, making sure your shoulders are out of your ears, your elbows are nice and wide. Last one. Good, now we got rotation, okay? So we're going to rotate. I actually want you to use your hands. Go ahead and hold the outside of your thigh and go into a crisscross crunch. Okay, using this tension, pull against your legs and push right back with your thighs. Okay, see if you can get that connection through your obliques. And again, belly button down to the floor. Good, now drop that other leg. Good, this is the position that you will be in, okay? Don't forget the feeling of this. Now let's switch. So switch the legs, grab the other side, pull. Again, belly button down to the ground. And again, feel the tension in your obliques. Good, if you need to, you can keep your hands here, okay? And go for rotation this way. Do it with me. Otherwise, hands behind the head and crisscross. Tap the toes, inhale, exhale. Again, bottom of the ribcage down. Your tailbone is down, good. Remember, you're not reaching with your elbows, think about reaching with your shoulder, okay? So we're not compensating just to get that crisscross motion. It's very subtle, don't overdo it. Oh, I feel the burn. I hope you guys do too. <laughs> exhale, exhale. Again, your pelvis is nice and still. Four more, four, three, two, one. Drop both toes or feet. And release the hands, reach, stretch, and roll down. Hands up, stretch your arms. Uh, abs for a second. Woo! All right, let's do some supine twists. So arms out to a T position. If you have tight shoulders, it might feel good to have your palms up. Okay, but you want to root your shoulder blades into the floor. Get a deep breath in, exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together as you bring your knees up to tabletop position. Okay, inhale, you're going to drop both knees to the side. Your shoulders stay planted on the floor. And look at your knees. You want them to be straight in line with each other. Okay, you don't want one reaching further than the other. Okay, so reach that top leg so it's in line in a straight line. Good, exhale, pull back to neutral position. Good, inhale, going to the other side. Again, making sure that top leg is reaching so your knees are in line. Exhale, pull back. Now when you go to the side, making sure that you're reaching already so that you're still in that straight line the entire time, even from the start. Exhale, pull back. Inhale. And exhale, pull back. Keep going. Just so you guys see what I mean with the knees being aligned. Inhale. And exhale, use those obliques to pull back to that neutral position. Inhale. And exhale, good. And think bottom of the rib cage, pushing down into the floor. Exhale. Last one. And exhale, good. Feet back on the floor, go ahead and stretch them nice and long. Good. And from here, let's go ahead and straighten that right leg, right thigh into the ground. So activate your inner thighs. 
Good, you're gonna bring your left leg up to the ceiling and you're gonna flex your foot. If you have really tight hammies, it's totally okay to have a tiny bend, okay? But uh, just make sure that um, your foot stays flexed here, okay? So you get the stretch through your hammies. Good, you can have your arms out to the side again for a little more stability. We're gonna do leg circles. So you're gonna bring it across the body, your hip still stays on the floor, down, out, and around. Good, inhale, and exhale. Good, one full breath for each circle. Inhale, and again, this thigh does not move, this hip does not move. Good, and your abs are working here to make sure that you don't move your hips or your torso as you do these circles. Other direction, exhale, and inhale. So squeezing that inner thigh down on the floor, especially when that leg circles outwards. Get two more. Swing it up and out and around. Good, bend the knee, let it slide down. Good, now again, root that thigh into the ground, squeeze your inner thighs to activate that stability into the floor. Flex that straight leg, right leg up to the ceiling. Good, and again, making sure that your pelvis stays nice and still through these circles, okay? If you need to, you can put your hands on your hips. Good, circle down and around. Good, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, staying nice and still in those hips. And other direction. Squeeze those abs as your leg goes out, down and around. Good, press that thigh into the floor. Good, out, down and around. One more, up, down and around. And bend the leg, come on down. Hands up, we're gonna go into some hundreds. I have a love-hate relationship with this Pilates exercise. <laughs> Good, so you're gonna bring your feet in to what we just started with, the, when we did our chest lifts for our warm up. We're gonna start with our hundreds here. So deep breath in, exhale, belly button falls down, rib cage comes to the floor as you come up to your chest lift position. Inhale to prepare, exhale, press two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Knees up if you can, otherwise stay where you are. Good, again, belly button pressing down to the floor. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Rip cage pushing down into the floor. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Straighten your legs if you can. Shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Lower the legs. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Ten more. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold. Bend the knees. Drop the feet down, stay in that chest lift, and roll down. Woo! Good, we got hamstring pulls next. So go ahead and straighten that top, uh, right leg. You can grab behind the thigh, calf, wherever you're flexible to. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale, but drop the belly button, drop your rib cage as you come up to a chest lift position. Okay, straighten that opposite leg. You're gonna switch. Tug, tug, inhale. Exhale, tug, tug. So I want you to think about the exhale driving the motion of these hamstring pulls. Good, legs are very active. And again, bottom of the rib cage is pressing into the floor. Good, hands behind the head if you can, otherwise keep doing with the hands. Switch, 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 switch. Exhale, 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 exhale. Again, curling up, driving the bottom of your cage down as much as you can. Good, shoulders are relaxed, elbows are wide. Four more, three, two, and one. 
Good, now crisscross. Again, if you need to hold, you totally can. Good, and switch. Again, your pelvis is nice and still. Switch. Hands behind on the head if you can. Switch. Switch. Again, your pelvis is super still. It helps to think about squeezing something in between your inner thighs, even though your legs are apart. Again, elbows wide, and you're reaching with your shoulder, not with your elbow. Woo! Four more, four, and three, and two, and one. Cover up, legs are straight, good. And just roll yourself up, boom. To a seated position, we have spine stretched forward. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and separate your legs to the width of your yoga mat. Stop it in my mosquito. <laughs> Good, and you wanna sit up nice and tall as if you're sitting up against the wall. Deep breath in, exhale, belly button pulls to spine and you're gonna tuck your head, pull your collarbone back, your sternum back, belly button back as you roll forward into that C curl position. Okay, making sure that you're not overreaching your shoulders, you still want your shoulder blades on your back. Good, inhale to pause. Exhale, roll yourself up. Good, stacking your spine. Back up against that imaginary wall. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin. Pull the sternum in. Bottom of the ribcage in. Belly button in. Rolling forward. Stretching forward as much as you can. Feet are flexed. Inhale. Exhale, belly button pulls back. Tuck the tailbone under. And restack the spine. Inhale, grow super tall. Exhale, belly button pulls in. Drop the chin, pull the sternum back, bottom of the ribcage back, belly button back as you roll forward. Good, inhale, exhale, roll yourself back up. Stacking those vertebrae on top of each other. One more time, inhale, exhale, belly button to spine, tuck the chin, roll down. Good, stretching forward as much as you can while keeping your scapula still on your back. And exhale, roll yourself up. Whew. and uh, sit tall. We have a twist with a row. Okay, so staying in this position, you're just gonna row your elbow back into a nice twist. Your head follows where you go. And inhale, back to center. Exhale, row back. Inhale to center. So feel the nice stretch, push and pull in this motion. Good. Pulling with the elbow, but stretching forward, pushing forward with that long arm. Good. So reaching, but pulling at the same time, getting that nice opposition. So you get a nice stretch in between your shoulder blades. Good. Switch. This feels so good. Good. Making sure that your pelvis, again, is not moving. You want your feet to stay absolutely still. So one shouldn't be reaching more forward than the other. It should be nice and even. Good, two more. Row, pull back, reach forward. And last one, pull back, reach forward. Good, and hands down to the side. Good, and we have a little booty section coming up. So deep breath in, we're gonna go and transition, roll down. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, belly button pulls in. To roll down nice and slow to your line on the ground. Bring your feet in. You should kind of be able to tickle your heels with your fingertips. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, belly button comes down. Roll yourself up to a bridge position. Good. Pick a leg, any leg. And you're going to bring the opposite knee up towards the ceiling. Tuck the booty, tuck the pelvis into that single leg bridge. You have shoulder prep. So you're gonna tap the toe down and come up to 90 degrees again, making sure that your glutes stay on the entire time. So we're holding this nice bridge position as the other leg goes down and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, you guys got it, exhale. Good, again, making sure that you're squeezing that booty. Think about holding a pencil underneath your butt crease. Good, two more. Lift, 
tap and last one, lift. Good, you're gonna extend that leg long up to the ceiling. You have booty thrusts. Down, tap the hips, now reach up. Down, squeeze up. Three, four. Again, ultimate squeeze in that butt. Tuck your hips, making sure that your rib cage is down and your abs are active to protect your low back. Six, four more. Up, squeeze. Three, two, and last one. Hold it up. Good, you're gonna bring the leg down and bring it up. Swing down and up. Again, staying still. Four, last one, reach, and drop it, drop the leg. Resetting, deep breath in, exhale, roll yourself up to that bridge. We have shoulder prep on the other side. Again, walking into the, tucking the tailbone, lift that neck, or knee. Good, we're gonna tap, lift. Two, three, remember that pencil you're holding in your butt crease? Then arms can press down and look straight up to the ceiling. Six. Good. Seven. Good. Fight that urge to drop the hip. Again, pushing those hips up, rib cage down. Last one. Send that butt up to the ceiling and tap and lift into those glute thrusts. Two. Three. Four. Up and squeeze. Five, six, and again, it kind of helps to think about squeezing your inner thighs here, even though your legs are apart. Eight, two more, nine, and 10. Hold it up, swing the legs, drop it down, kick it up. Two, three, two more, stay in it. And five, reach, three, two, one, Tap it down, drop the knee down, and roll to your side. Good, and we have um, some side lifts, okay? So elbow underneath your shoulder, and you're going to draw your obliques in. So making sure that you're nice and straight here and you're not slouching towards the floor. Good, and we have some hip lifts in this direction, or in this position. Okay, so squeezing your rib cage together, you're gonna lift and you're gonna hover, drop your hip towards the floor. Okay, so lift, squeeze your obliques, hover towards the floor. So nothing changes in the top of your body, okay? You're still consistently pushing the floor away with your shoulders or your forearm and your shoulders being nice and strong. Then lift. Lift and squeeze. Good, think about a flaming bowling ball rolling underneath your torso. Make room so you don't get burned. Shh. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift. Good, last one. And hold. Good, if you can, squeeze your inner thighs now and go into a full plank position. Good, hand reaches up to the ceiling. Good, now get into a deeper bend by reaching up and over. Good, and reset to your normal plank and presses into your thigh. Good, exhale, deeper bend. Inhale, come back to neutral. Again, you're still pushing really strong out of the floor. Good, nothing changes in that shoulder structure. It's just you getting into a deeper side bend, deeper contraction into those obliques. Good, one more. Up and over. And back to neutral, drop the knee, sit your hip down, and let's switch sides. Good, elbow underneath your shoulder socket, knee down, in line with your hips, your obliques are strong, now lift, good, and hover the hip. Lift and squeeze the obliques, hover. And again, nothing is changing in your upper body, you're staying nice and still. Just think about a stretch as your hip comes down towards the floor and then uber squeeze as you come up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, inhale, exhale, squeeze. Super subtle, but oh so good. Good, inhale, 
Exhale, squeeze. Good, three more. Two. Nice and strong push out of that shoulder. Hold it, squeeze your inner thighs. Get into your side plank. Now deep side bend, staying square to the other side of the room. Get and reset to your normal plank. Press your hands into your thigh. Good, reach up and over. And reset back to your plank. Up and over. Reach those hips to the ceiling. Reset. Up and over. And reset. One more. Up and over. And reset. Drop the knee. Drop the hip. Going into our back extensions for a wrap up on this. So you're going to go on your belly now. Tuck your tailbone under. Pubic bone pressing into the floor. Okay. From here, you're going to make a tiny little pillow with your hands, elbows out to the side. And you can rest your head um, on the floor. Otherwise, you can go into a slight back extension here. So think about a spider crawling up the floor, and you're just following the gaze of that, squeezing your upper back muscles. Good. Shoulder blades down your back. Again, tucking your tailbone under, pubic bone flat to the floor. Good. Now lift the legs by activating your glutes and your hamstrings. And from here, you're going to lift, actually, keep your left foot down, right leg up. Okay, and we're gonna do beats up towards the ceiling with that right leg, okay? So lift and squeeze the butt. Two, three, four. Again, you can keep your head down if you want. But I like a little back extension here. Six, seven, up and squeeze. Fight the urge to arch your back to compensate for that booty squeeze, making sure that your pubic bone is still pressing into the floor. 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, shoulder blades down your back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch, squeeze, hold, three, two, one, and down. Relax. Good. Resetting. Again, tucking your tailbone under, belly button pulled in. Lift the gaze to get into that slight back extension if you want it. Again, shoulder blades down your back. Now lift your opposite leg. Squeeze the butt. Now pulse it up. One, two, three. Again, pubic bone down into the floor. Keep that tuck. Use those lower bellies. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Again, more about the squeeze of the glutes than it is how high you can get your leg. Okay, remember, you're keeping that belly button to spine. Tucked pelvis. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Squeeze that butt. Reach the toe. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. And to wrap this up, we have swimming. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and have your hands out in front of you. Okay, and your feet on the floor, okay? Tucking your tailbone under, good. Again, reaching that uh, collarbone forward towards the other side of the room. You're gonna lift one arm opposite leg. You can pick which one. Good, now place it back on the floor, other side. Lift, good, again, flexing your butt just like that drill we did. And down, good, and let that arm float up. And down, other side. Good, now we're gonna hover both arms and both feet. Good, same drill. Lift one side, opposite arm. Other side. Good, switch. And switch, we're gonna speed it up. Ready, let's go. Swim, 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 swim. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, again, keeping your booty squeezed, tailbone tucked under, you're using your upper back muscles to swim those arms. Neck is nice and long. Look down the slope of your nose, so your neutral neck. Good, legs are active. Good, one more set. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs. Bring your arms down by your side. Drop your feet, push it up into a child's pose. Deep breath in, 
and exhale. Deep breath, fill your back with air, and exhale, relax. Good, roll yourself up, and give yourself a round of applause. Great job, everyone. Have an amazing day. And make sure you guys check out all the other on-demand videos from our other instructors as well. Bye.